Seeing what happened in Colorado tonight, Laura, it makes me think, except we believe in democracy in Texas, maybe we should take Joe Biden off the ballot in Texas for allowing 8 million people to cross the border since he's been president, uh, disrupting our state far more than anything anyone else has done in recent history. So it's a little bit see through how this is going to work. They immediately jump from, I, th I think you're being unfair in your interpretation of the plain language of section three of, uh, of the 14th amendment to, uh, I don't like this political thing that's happening, so we take him off too. What, what is, you're not even trying to make the case that that applies to the 14th amendment. It's just a border or whatever, okay, uh, gas prices, we get him off the ballot. That's not how any of this works. And the thing is like, you should be able to take a look at what Donald Trump did in 2020 and recognize that that stands out literally through American history. We have not had a thing like that happen during a presidential election. There is no reason that that should necessitate a slippery slope where other people are randomly getting taken off the ballot because of something they tweet or something. But also realistically, that is how the Republicans work. They have always used the fact that Donald Trump just Kool-Aid mans his way through our norms to then say, "Oh, this is the new norm. And we're gonna pretend that all of it, like if you criticize the Republicans, then you did an insurrection. It's the way that they try to both sides literally everything. And if the Supreme Court does not take down this Colorado decision, I expect that we will we will see stuff like what Lieutenant um, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick there said come true. But uh, Ravana, what do you think? Yeah, I think John that you didn't have your ears open or maybe your heart open to listen to what Dan Patrick said because he clearly stated that they believe in democracy in the state of Texas. That's how he <laughs> opened his statement. So surely it must be true. Never mind the fact that Ken Paxton is their <laughs> attorney general, literally mm -hmm. the most corrupt attorney general in the entire country, which is a difficult position to hold, a difficult title to be have bestowed upon you in America. But he stands alone amongst mm -hmm. attorneys general. I mean, it's just absurd. It's absurd. There's a million things that Biden has done that I think should disqualify someone from being the president in his ongoing support for the genocide in Gaza, namely as one. I think that his cruel treatment of migrants, his flying in the face of international law as it pertains to the treatment of asylum seekers absolutely should be something that should disqualify him from being elected president. But that doesn't mean I think that we should just throw him off the ballot because he hasn't staged an insurrection. And you mentioned what happened with Donald Trump is unique in our history, which is what makes it a novel issue, an issue of first impression, which is exactly why the Supreme Court is surely going to take up the issue. But there's no argument that Joe Biden has done anything even remotely similar. I mean, they'll try to say that Jewish Voice for Peace activists, you know, peacefully staging a sit in mm -hmm. inside of a Capitol building or an office building is the same thing as multiple people dying as people were pooping on Nancy Pelosi's desk, you know? Yep. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just such an absurd argument. And we, we, can, we can no longer be surprised by this hypocrisy. I mean, they were more angry about the affront to civil society represented in people, I think, being rude to Sarah Huckabee Sanders in a restaurant yes. than they were to Paul Pelosi's skull being bludgeoned open. Like we we cannot expect, like just because their side of the aisle shrieks the word debate as often as they do does not mean that they are thinking clearly, logically, reasonably about literally any of this. There are no principles to be found on the other side. And so, yeah, the slippery slope will definitely be on if this doesn't happen. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.